Welcome to VCR Party Live. I'm Nick. This is Joe. Uh -huh. This is the show uh, uh -huh. where we watch all 10,000 VHS tapes from the Found Footage Festival every collection. Every single day? And uh, we should mention... Do we do it every single day? Every single day, okay. yep. And uh, I feel like we're up to closer to like 15,000 now because of all the videos that... Oh, we should do a recount. Yeah. We really should because that was 10,000 as of about a year ago. And then just the other day we got that huge bag. Yeah. And then we got... Uh, box, Bob, these boxes we haven't even opened Bob up. Bob Hedges, one of our viewers, sends us about a box with a thousand tapes every day. We gotta give him his own wing. Like, we need to get a bigger office now, actually. <laughs> we do. Or maybe just like the Bob room. It's all like Bob's videos that he's Well, sent yeah, us. in our year end episode, we'll talk about what's next, but it might be annexing another <laughs> office because we're running out of space here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but. And we refuse to throw anything away, too. There's some yeah. stuff up on the shelves. It's just like, eh, we probably don't need, you know, four. Uh, golf blooper videos, but but then we'd have these screaming matches about that, and it's not worth the, the pain. So I know. so it's just easier to hold on to everything. It is organized hoarding. So today is uh, we have a very special guest. Um, and we pre-taped with a, uh, a buddy we met in um, Denver named Andrew Novick, and she, well, he's one of the biggest weirdos of uh, all time. But like the most wonderfulest, like he's like the mayor president of all weirdos like, yeah, we, uh, that we've met, that we've you, come across. You've described him as like a real-life Pee Wee Herman. And He's think, actual Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, I think that's yeah. pretty accurate. If there was a real-life equivalent, Andrew's it. But he's also a scientist, too, <laughs> which makes it even weirder. It's fascinating. So we'll yeah. talk more about how we met Andrew. Uh, but first, we want to start off with something we call a found footage festival classic. Uh, this is where we dive into an early uh, a video, and this one comes from our training video montage in an early volume of, of our show. Did Andrew give us this one? And Andrew gave it to okay. us. So I thought this would be a good way to uh, introduce why we were so enamored with Andrew and all the footage he collects as well. This is um, a training video for Chick-fil-A. Uh, I guess they recently stopped supporting um, uh, organizations that, like, Anti-gay? Anti-gay, yeah. yeah. They recently stopped supporting them, so that's why I feel okay with playing this okay. uh, video. This is, uh, I think, follows the rule of training videos where they, instead of just telling you how to do your job cleaning up around the Chick-fil-A, they got real cute with it. Oh, yeah. Um, this is the golden age of that era, too. Yeah. You know, like, they, they, this era, they all tried to entertain and, I wonder if it's the and do songs. Yeah, and, and I wonder if it's the people who are making the training videos were just too bored to actually do that. So they're like, hey, I can be a comedy director, too. I can do these funny, ambitious types of well, videos. Well, what would you rather have, this or something like Adventures in Management? You know, where it's, a, <laughs> where it's drier and it's reenactments and it's boring. If or I, would you rather have some costumes and some song and dance? I, well, it's weird. I think from an ironic perspective, I'm glad I watched the McDonald McSee video because it was so ridiculous. Yeah. If I was working at Chick-fil-A and had a sense of that, I would also rather watch this video. But if I'm just there to clean up and mm -hmm. don't have a sense of humor about it and, and the misery, I would rather just learn how to do the job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pretend you are a, a, like a janitor, a custodian at uh, Chick-fil-A, and, mm -hmm. uh, and this is what they would subject you to. How long does it take to make a good first impression? Or a bad one? As a team member at Chick-fil-A, you're the most important person in customer satisfaction. But you've got enemies. They're doing everything they can to make your job difficult. <laughs> hey, lady, look over here. It's a big, juicy pile of trash. <laughs> we haven't been picked up in so long, we're considered a national monument. <laughs> Rude, crude, and unattractive. <laughs> but that's why they call us trash. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to share their meal with a table full of Captain dirty cups, ketchup smeared <laughs> paper, and leftover food? And who would rubber band for the opportunity? Nobody. Now, what is that side dish with the carrots and raisins? Yeah, like an, an, an olive or something. Like. That's right, and look who's out there. I like that actor on the right. Or they all the same actor? No, they're all different. Absolutely. You know what? I've had a great day. Uh, I have offended 
provoked, irritated, and generally grossed out about a dozen customers. The message is really confusing. Well, they wrap it all, they tie it all in at the end. Let's face it. Cleaning up the dining room and the restrooms may not be your favorite See, job. He's not doing a good fly, job. But it's kind of half to make sure that every impression is a good impression. That means being constantly aware of the appearance of the dining room and restrooms. That's one of the reasons why we tidy them up every 10 minutes. Make sure there aren't any gays in a chick fil a places. It hides in the plants, under the chairs, behind the garbage cans, and uh, under tables. Hey, how long you guys been? Hanging out together, huh? Oh, we've been here a good long while. See, they put us out here all nice and juicy oh, and stuck that. us right Everybody's up doing their, their like, one-man show character. <laughs> yes, sir, we bought. We's a regular health threat. Oh, wow, a real Something? health threat? You mean, like, with real germs and all that good stuff? <gasps> oh, yes, sir, we bought. Are we ever nasty? Oh. Oh, every time a customer reaches his hand under the table, there we are. You see, just tell me how to just tell me to clean up the gum all. under it's the table. It's a long-winded way. Keeping the yeah. dining room and restrooms clean are things that you can do to make sure we make the best first impression. I like the guy with the There's muscle moment, shirt. There he is. As customers pass by our store, when they decide the if they're going to eat at Chick Fil A, we want that first impression hmm. to be a good one. I don't spot any that means people that in the here. total picture. People, products, and environment <laughs> like that has to too. be the best it can be. You are the key person in all of this. Making the best first impression is one of the most important things you can do. Because dark you family. never know what might be said. The darker sons are there. <laughs> oh, I love it when he talks trash. <laughs> now they're in the trash can, so all is well. And that's talking trash. Yeah. Somehow Andrew ended up with that. Uh, he ended up with a lot of stuff. Yeah, he, like, I think he gave us Fast with Class as well. Yeah. The uh, Sister Sam follow-up to uh, Girl Skill. Um, should we launch into Andrew now? Is there anything? Oh, Yo, you, quickly, because yeah. Christmas is around the corner, we're having merch sales on our, our website, foundfootagefest.com, so you can get our DVDs and stocking stuffers uh, in time for Christmas. But I think it was, was it two, three weeks ago that you held up this? Yeah, uh, yeah. You opened this, I think, from Bob Klein. This is a... Uh, no, from who was Bob this? Hedges. Oh, Bob Hedges. Did you want to <laughs> apologize? Klein. No, no, Did that's you, not worthy of a... Is it? Uh, that, George? That, is that worthy of an apology? That's not worthy of a Batman serial <laughs> apology. He no called way. Bob Hedges, who's given us a lot of stuff. Bob Klein, a who's a guy we've also met in the course of doing the show. I know, but you called him Bob... Yeah, but... That was I, years I tell you ago. what, I'm going to apologize to Bob personally. Bob, you're, I know you're watching this, uh, probably on a treadmill somewhere watching videos. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you Bob Klein. And then just take an apology pill. I'm just not to... taking an apology <laughs> pill for that slight... <laughs> I don't want to live in fear with everything we say on the show. I, that's just my personal <laughs> preference. I think you're leading the league in apology pills. No, though. you're leading the league in in making me take them for very well, you're innocuous. You're the one who said Yul Brennan was in uh, the No Mobile a couple who? weeks ago. That you, <laughs> you said Yul Bren Yul, Yul Brenner, Brenner. <laughs> William uh, uh, Brennan. Uh, wait, what? You called you called Yul Brenner Yul Brennan? Take an apology pill. No. You see, that's the see. exact same thing saying Bob Klein. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I was one letter off. You were several letters off. Okay. You both have to eat gum under the table at Chick Fil A. All right, <laughs> that's the only solution. And do, okay, do the, 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 pen, the, the penalty's offset. They so, offset. Okay. All right. So this is the uh, and what I think it was your idea. You said this is kind of a festive VHS cover. Yeah. When I put it up there, I was like, oh, this is really colorful, and there's like yeah. a lot of nice squiggles and some lines, and it's it'd yeah be fun to. Be, to open up a present that was covered in there. Right, so I found, I went to uh, Zazzle.com and I made some, uh, I ordered, it's not here yet, but I ordered some wrapping paper. It'll be here by like December No, you're getting 5th. kickbacks from Zazzle now too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you it's, put up Zazzle's uh, website there? <laughs> I have, uh, I have the Found Footage Festival website. And that's perfect. Okay. And uh, so anyway, uh, throw up what this is going to look like. Do you have it up yep. there already? Yeah. It's a nice roll of uh, 60 feet of wrapping paper. So you, if somebody watches VCR Party and they happen to see the episode two weeks ago where we held this up, uh -huh. you can have, or even if they don't, you are going to have a tiled acute infectious diarrhea wrapping so wait, paper. So they can order like a roll yeah, of it? Yeah, the... just like you would for Christmas. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. so that's available on the store right now. Big thanks to Zazzle. And a big thanks to Zazzle. And and why not? Disney Plus. Yeah. 
<laughs> now let's uh, let's talk about um, Andrew Novick and how we okay. met him. Okay, so it was probably I think it was the first time we were in Denver, which is probably like twelve years ago. I'm gonna yeah. guess two thousand seven. Probably or so, doing a show there, and this guy waited for us after the show, named Andrew, and he had like hair that was like in like four different chunks coming off of his head. It was all short except for like four different chunks. That he grew he, out long. He grew out long. And uh, he waited for us after the show and he told us that he was a VHS collector. He invited us to his place afterwards to watch videos. And you know, when we do these shows, like it always feels like, you know, you meet some weirdos along the way and it always yeah. feels like you could be murdered. At, you know, yeah, occasionally at, after... people will say, hey, do you want I got a bunch of videos back at my place. Do you want to watch them? And Roy's like, can you send us a picture? Because yeah, you, know, yeah. you, well, you don't know. Andrew you know. definitely fell into the murder category. Like he could have been a we murderer. We were nervous. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know. But then, so we went out to his place. It's out in the, it's out in, um, we decided uh, to take the leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he seemed friendly enough. Yeah. So we went out to uh, the suburbs of Denver and it was like, you know, all houses that kind of looked the same. Then all of a sudden there was a pink house and that was Andrew's house. And we go in and as we walk in, there's, um, what was it, like photos of meat? Yeah, like photos bar of barbecue, barbecue meat. meat. And then there's like <laughs> a shitload of Barbies, like on this whole wall, just tons Florida and tons ceiling, of Barbies. ceiling, like wallpaper, but yeah. actual Barbies. And clown paintings, and then he, there was this dog running around named Tiny Coconut that yeah. was really mean and just like barking. It was a chihuahua, yeah. super tiny. He had a John like, Wayne Gacy painting, actually, above his mantle. Oh, an actual? Yeah, an actual John Wayne Gacy yeah. painting. Yeah, see, it was, it was pretty creepy when we yeah. walked in. But we ended up watching movies until the sun came up, like a bunch of, ton of different videos. We're going to watch most of those in this segment with, uh, with Andrew. But yeah, real life Pee Wee Herman. Actual Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, so we're going to learn more about Andrew and watch some of his favorite videos uh, in this special guest show and tell. Hello, we're here, Melinda. We're here with Ange here. Yeah, and, well, he's uh, here. Andrew Novick. Uh, All the way from Denver. Yeah, yeah. this is exciting. Thanks yeah. for being here. Get to be in the midst of so much uh, VC, VHS great. It's a fire hazard. Is, yeah. Like we could all die. This is a lot second. of plastic in here. It is, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we aspire to be your kind of a, a I guess a, a Gowanus Brooklyn version of your apartment. Yeah. Or your yeah. house in Denver. You're a big influence on us. You're you're a collector of collections, right? Right. Like that's your, I collect almost everything. Na name like five things you collect. Oh boy, uh, toys and games from the 70s, like TV shows, like Dukes of Hazard and Six Million Dollar Man. Um, uh, boy, um, well, dental I'm, stuff, like dental oh, tools, oh, um, really? plaster teeth, I have, I have seven human teeth oh, that, wow. that people have given, yeah, people have given me. Well, because I'm, I'm trying to make a tape boy, but I want to use real human teeth oh, on there. Do you have any dang. real human teeth? Uh, I have some real human really? teeth. Yeah. Could, I have could, a human skull, even. Oh, really? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Um, I can't say, really. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a museum piece, but um, um, uh, I collect cereal dust. That was the one I was going <clears> to <throat> ask you about. Yeah, for many, many years of eating cereal, I would pour that dust out of the bottom of the box yeah, into a jar. Of, yeah. yeah, and so I had these like the sedimentary layers of my cereal eating like twenty <laughs> years of. We cereal saw it eating. when we went out there, and yeah. it's very pretty actually. Yeah. It's like tricks. Yeah, it's like, the, it's like, like those like sugar. Um, like the jars of like sugar art in Hawaii that you can get. It's like yeah, very yeah. calming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How does that age though? After uh, a while? Yeah. Not too good. Not too good. Because it's like I, some moisture gets in there and it gets all kind of a little clumpy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Menus. Yeah. Don't you also collect oh, menus? Yeah. Menus from yeah. like uh, a lot of my favorite places I've been to as well as um, I have like a bunch of menu, like a whole menu collection. Do you that steal them? From 20s and 30s. Really? Do you steal them? Or oh, do you yeah. ask them if no, you can I have them? them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right down the Although pan? for some reason I have a Furs Cafeteria menu signed by a bunch of the people working there. So I guess I must have mm. asked about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So some of them were legally <laughs> obtained. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Um, let's start off with the video. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's um, dive so in. This video you gave to us, but we didn't know that you gave it to us. This is, we, when we introduced it at shows, we always say this is the most mysterious video we ever got. Came, uh, it arrived in an in a unlabeled envelope. There's no return address, no note or anything. It was just this video. And you must have sent it to us. And uh, it was called Something, Something's Happening. Yeah. It was a public access show from, from San Francisco. And you remember which one? You remember this one? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. This is that's one of the all time greatest <laughs> oh, weird. So videos. we'll watch it. It's about a minute and a half, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about because you have some stories yeah. from Something's okay, Happening. Good. We can talk over these two. This one might, we might have to observe silence for this yeah, one. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot going on. A lot on of dialogue we happening. might want to hear, but in general. Are you ready yet? Because the reason I'm you. Is there any way I can look at this thing without turning my head? No. It's a great start. No. What was he asking? 
Is there any way I can look at this without turning my head? Hi, no. this is Bud Gundelak, and welcome again to like my show, up. Something's Happening. Recently, when I was on Market Street in San Francisco, I ran into a gentleman by the name of Arthur Bloom. Now, no Arthur, sometime that. in the latter right. part of his life, made a very interesting, unusual, and perhaps miraculous I love him. discovery. I love his vest, sweater vest. This is how the video actually played. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't my edit. <laughs> Great Scientific juice. Data. Don't Great juice. This is what we use to extract the, to extract the mucus, actually mucus from your mouth. A new, a new substance has been found in the mouth. The first time in the history of the world, a new substance has been found. And this substance has been crowd. identified oh, yeah. as mucus. This, the mucus, the, the mucus the that goes through your nose, that like goes the, into your mouth. That, that's mucus, spring, and the mucus, this mucus is, is extracted by grape well, juice of, of vinegar. Now, the, the times, grape juice, all the grape juice does is liquefy the mucus. Remember, the mucus is very, People very sticky. It, it sticks inside. Similar. You can't take it <laughs> out with water, <laughs> hot water. You can't take it out. You can't even see it. We all take dirty oil out of our car. We all have... But so this is dirty oil, folks. This is dirty oil. Now watch this. We're going to burn this. We're going to put this on this rock. Remember, this was in my mouth only 10 minutes ago. This was liquid. <laughs> this Great was a liquid in my mouth 10 mouth. minutes ago. It's been trapped inside this, inside of this substance. This, because you'll see the back flame. You'll see, the, you'll see it's, it's it backfire. Like he's getting, it's, like he's getting it's, off it's on it or something. He's, 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 he's not reading anything. The, the this is all off the top of his head. The flame from the... The, 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 from the substance, we put that torch out. Please believe me, the world is dying. I wish they cut back the to Bud Gundelak. Like Bud Gundelak watching this. Kind of like, what? They do, actually. In the, yeah, in the full like, version, they uh, do. Yeah, they do I want to see back this horrified forth reaction. <laughs> but, but get, so, okay, so you sent that to us. The mystery's yeah. been solved. You sent it to us. Where the hell did you get that? So I was, I was with a friend in Vegas, and like one block away from downtown like downtown that was and that was like in the 90s downtown was pretty sketchy back then mm -hmm. to begin with one block off of downtown is like even sketchier and it was like <laughs> this like storefront office with like what we thought was like oh there's punk rock flyers right so we go and like on the window and there's all these flyers of like you know cut and paste punk rock type stuff and it was like um it's like babies are dying um, investigate this, doctors, please. Toxic, and, and yeah. Toxic, toxic, yeah. Sounds like a good Poison. punk lineup, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I, yeah. we were ready to go to the yeah. show, and it was like a phone number. And so uh, I just, I think after, you know, it was pre-cell phone days, really, I think. Well, wait, so. was that his office, do you think? I think it was his office. Up on a, okay. I think it was his office, because it was like on the inside of the glass. Right. He needs an office. And so I called and, of course, recorded it. So I have like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard these tapes. No. You, oh. You talked to him? Yes. I talked what? to him for like uh, uh, probably over an hour, like a uh, multiple times. I, I, I bet he mostly talked to you. Well, yeah, he did most <laughs> of the talking. But yeah, he said, I mean, he, he, he got very passionate because I was like, hey, oh, I found your phone number. Like, what, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? And Had you already seen the video? No, okay, no, because he's, 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 yeah, he sent yeah. me the video. You're just calling to find out why I babies for, are dying. Yeah, why are babies, what do we need to investigate? You probably also collect uh, phone call tapes. Oh, yeah, yeah, people, I, have, right? I have hundreds of hours of me <laughs> talking mostly to like, telephone solicitors where yeah, I'm just right. like trying to keep them on the phone and get to know them a little, yeah. like <laughs> as they're trying to sell me life insurance. Right. <laughs> so I'm talking to him on the phone and he said to some of the same, like, you wouldn't put dirty oil in your car, would you? You wouldn't put dirty oil in your car. No, sir, and I I'm wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't. And he's like, the, the, this toxic the mucus in your mouth it's collecting all the the toxins from the air and you, you you're gonna swallow that you got to get it out of the, your mouth and so he's telling me and of course I haven't seen the video so he's like <laughs> I, I asked him to send me some because I really wanted those flyers I wanted right. the, you yeah. know some copies of these flyers he sent me this tape this guy's an artist by the way like oh. he had so many of his the graphics that come yeah. up are just incredible yeah there's no it's, it's it is all like him. punk rock it's all like, him. Yeah, yeah he's like cutting and he, pasting he, he makes t-shirts too he makes his own t-shirts oh, that one yeah 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 oh, wow. yeah. oh I should have shown Dang, that I don't remember that. Yeah. yeah I don't even remember that so I talked to him for quite a while he sends me the tape I talked to him again and I'm like hey can you send me some materials I think you know I live in this college town of Boulder Colorado like I think we could really get people out here working on this <laughs> and so, you know with the grape <laughs> juice and whatever mm -hmm. and out of out of Due respect, I, I did it for like uh, at least a week. You tried it out, huh? Uh, daily, I, a high-powered spray of grape juice. And <laughs> I, I spit it out it into it. Yeah, it's yeah. after a while. But you I mean, did you it for a week. Like, yeah, uh, but you feel like your teeth are going to fall out. Right. I mean, you're pretty, pretty sugar. Citric did acid. You, yeah. Did you do the coffee filter and everything too? 
I think I just did you, you didn't burn it or anything. I don't think I just put I it in you, a jar. It, yeah. I had a jar of like toxic. And that's I guess, another collection. I guess I'll collect yeah. this too. <laughs> yeah, All right, why not? Screw the lid on. <laughs> yeah. Call it done. Yeah. Yeah. It was gross. It was super gross. You, it's, you, yeah. I think that he does the blowtorch just to prove, like, look at all the ba toxins backfiring. I think he's doing yeah. it like as a selling point. Just like, look at all this bad stuff that's in here. I don't think you have to do. Did that. you ever yeah. meet him in person? Um, almost. Almost. So on a subsequent trip to Vegas. Like how, how much like later? Like years. I think okay. it was probably, that was probably, yeah, it was probably maybe eight or nine years and later. And you had already like, seen the video at this point. Yeah. He sent you the video. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys had probably even seen the video. I mean, yeah, it was yeah. like quite, it was like in the early 2000s yeah, probably. Yeah. So maybe 10 years later. <clears throat> and like driving around Vegas and you see this van and it was like, um, you know, babies are dying, whatever. And it's like, looks like a punk rock tour vehicle, right? <laughs> <clears throat> but you, I recognized some of the, Stuff I was like, what? That looks like the whatever. The license plate says like Bloom or Bloom oh, One Arthur or something. Bloom. So we're like, oh my God, that's him, whatever. And like we like follow, like we did like a turn around, um, like screeched around the corner, like whatever. Follow. <laughs> He's one probably up. out like making a grape juice run or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or, or spreading the word <laughs> yeah. in the downtown, you know. So I then, but then he like he pulled into some trailer park or something. We like we lost him or he lost ah. us. So that so. happened in Las Vegas. Yeah. Okay, but then that thing was that a, was in a, Oakland actually. That okay, show, it was a Bay yeah. Area public access. Yeah, yeah. Show. And he talks about he talks about seeing him on Market Street. Yeah, exactly. Francisco. So he I know I never I don't think we ever talked about he must how, have how he was gone around to evangelize spreading this. the word just like yeah. a West Coast thing. Maybe he takes the van. Uh, he took the van up and down. That could be. But yeah. he's not with us anymore, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So like and so of course every time going to Vegas I'm like trying to look him up or find him or whatever and uh i found out somewhere online that he had passed away oh, i'm not sure if he had all his death teeth from the mouth <laughs> yeah, maybe, death, death extracted from right. mouth. oh man uh, yeah, poor so. guy well his legacy lives on with something's happening anyway at, <laughs> yeah. at our show we we have a, an investigator george does a lot of investigating for us so maybe we should track down maybe a relative or something maybe they probably wouldn't want to I talk i think the less we know about arthur Blair, really the better, <laughs> no yeah. i want to find out yeah. like what his house looked like when they when they like took all his like they must have the blow torches and the yeah, blue blow and torches, the, the oh, coffee filters. Can you imagine? Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, I thought about it too, like just making copies of this, of the tape, and just leaving them around for sure. people to, to like discover continue on the legacy as I do. Too. Yeah, know, like and to, to continue like, on Arthur Bloom's legacy. Yeah, then, yeah. You know, it's kind of babies like the, are still dying. I think it's exactly. kind of like the yeah. tape from The Ring, though. It curses that person. <laughs> yeah. Then, oh and, yeah. yeah, it's the, one of the. It's, it's probably yeah. a top ten video of mine. All right, like I think we can talk about this for forty five minutes. Something's happening still. When when um so we've known you for ten years or so, and I think when we were out in um, Boulder last time, now you where do you work? You 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 took us for a tour, but what's oh. the name specifically? Yeah, of? NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology. And and it's like the na it's the the one of the world clocks, right? This the atomic is, yeah, clock. It's like, atomic well, clock. Yeah, NIST overall does all of the standards, so we we um, we kind of realize all the standards like the second, the meter. The volt, um, you know, for the United States. Right, so, and yeah, precise but, measurements of time yeah, and everything right, like that. Right, all of the SI units. But specifically, the department I work in is the time department. So we have, uh, you know, atomic clocks that we measure there. Well, we've got a clock for you. Um, this is a video we found called TikTok, Let's Talk. It comes with a watch at a tell time. <laughs> it's and really going to speak to you because you work in yeah, the time industry. Yeah, I'll measure it. Well, right, I, think right? you, I think you could learn a thing or two from... Uh, <laughs> but you're a scientist then, right? Right. You're a yeah. scientist. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so here, the watch is still in here. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll uh, learn from a, a pu puppet and a clown Couple How puppets. to tell time. How to tell time. Wow. Here's a song we haven't played before on the show from. Uh, oh yeah, there's a new one. Yeah. Okay, good. And the songs kind of sound a little residency. That is. There. Ooh. Think what it would be like if all the hands in the world joined together to work just like the hands of a clock. Let's listen to a song that sings about how well those hands work together. You guys probably think about that all the time. See, really exactly. Let's all us. work together. Oh, what's, love, the, what's the clown doing? I love the He's clown's like, expression. <laughs> That's clock, clock in the clock. On a regular clock, there are three little hands. On a digital clock, there are, are none. <laughs> there are none. A little <laughs> hand on a regular clock shows the hour one by one. <laughs> That's the residence part. Whoa. The digital clock shows the hours to in numbers one at a time. What is he looking at? 
<laughs> the camera's over here. Yeah, yeah. His, his trainer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the street. Tell time just oh, there you go. What is the thing in the middle? Uh, it's a monkey. A Falafagus? Yeah. I don't know, there's no snout. The little hand the song needs to be slower. To the hour. Hard to process at all. Right. Were kids ever this patient? Oh. I bet the guy who has to sing his voice, like, I bet his throat is just raw at the end. In between, <laughs> as the minutes dig away. Going up and up. Yeah. The second hand goes around. Whose hand is that? That's the monkey. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Because he's, he's got his arms around. He's trying to hands to the hands of the clock. It's so. And he's wearing like a dog with a turtle. It's, yeah. And the accordion is really prominent in this. He's <laughs> wearing like a George Carlin outfit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's Andy, probably like an Andy Kaufman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Andy Kaufman's behind that somehow. I Definitely. Think. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, you know, wow. go back and tell your workplace that it wasn't all fun and games. You actually learned something. I learned something out yeah. here. On the, um, can uh, you tell us about your haircut? Because we, we've asked you about this before, but I'm, I'm fascinated I would, by it. Did I make up something back then? I don't know. Well, you think you told us that you went to a barber and you were trying to explain what you like and she accidentally like cut off too many strands. And, like, no, and, that, no, and no. that you made her, did you make her write a letter of apology to oh, yeah, your, that, that, yeah. to your That's girlfriend true. at the time or yeah, right. saying yeah. like... Well, I mean, originally I was like, I want, I want to look like the Hellraiser... Guy, the pinhead, yeah. right? So I had like all these like little pieces all yeah. around, and like that could look good if you like spiked them all out, which yeah, yeah. maybe I did like once mm -hmm. or something. Right, right. But really, when you have that haircut uh, on a day to day basis, it's just a bunch of moppy like everywhere. It's a lot of work. Too. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And you would never do that all the right. time. Yeah, yeah. So I just I just cut off the ones on the top, cut off all the ones, and I end up with just several pieces around. The crown, which Some is so it's just strands. like a made up thing. And yeah, sometimes yeah. they're longer, sometimes I cut them a little shorter. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, one time a, a woman cut cut one like almost all But the wasn't it like a cost cutters or something? Yeah, like yeah. Fantastic <laughs> Sam's or cost cutters. And she's Not like. so fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sam, uh, we, you got a problem with this lady. So yeah, so, uh, but, so, and I, I thought it was really funny, right? Like I was just like, uh, she, she's like, oh my God, I, I cut one of your pieces off or whatever. And I'm like, I was like, yeah, that's, uh, you know, like, you're going to have to write a note. Uh, you know, <laughs> I got to come home with a note because, like, that's going to be really hard to, exp you know, like, yeah. it's like, it's not my fault yeah. that I ruined my haircut. And yeah. So, yeah. But, and so she actually did write a note, you oh. know, saying, like, I'm really sorry that I messed up Andrew's. Oh, man. Hair. I Another hope you framed But the note. good news, oh, yeah? it grew back. Oh, hey, so, how about that? Yeah, sometimes they get oh. a little thinner, and yeah. then, like, the next time I go, I was like, can you just, like, leave a the little... happy little ending. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a continual oh, repair man. of yeah. the last person. And I always go to different places. Right. Because it's just, it's funnier. I mean, yeah, I could find someone to do it right, yeah, yeah. exactly. But it's just funnier to go. And especially, like, I've gotten this haircut all over the world, too. I've got it in Mexico. Um... Uh, uh, Japan, um, <laughs> Korea, like late night haircut in Korea, like midnight in wow. Korea. There's like hair salons. And I, give me the half hell razor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to do. Yeah. But but I assume that you do you speak Korean? No. Okay, so you have to like kind of just kind of yeah, point. In, and I did it in in Guangzhou, China, with 100 percent language barrier. Wow. And there was three people. That did the haircut for me. Did it was you like, use any sort of translation? I was just app like or anything, I was just like. Cut, cut, like, cut. I was like, no cut. <laughs> no cut. And so one How guy, many of the no cuts do you have? So, so there's, there's really four there's plus four? the bangs. Okay, so the bangs are no kind of a separate okay. no cut. Yeah, yeah. I remember but, you telling me about that you you were like, oh yeah, I went to this one lingerie hair salon. And I was like, what was it called? And he said, a little off the top. And I was like, that's the best name for a topless hair cutting How could, salon anything, I've yeah. ever heard. Because so, yeah. that's what, it, there's two things that when, when you... Go to get your haircut. They say either a little off the top or yeah. same but shorter. Same but shorter. Yeah. yeah. But the lingerie haircut, you don't want to call that place a same, same but, but shorter. shorter. No. <laughs> it's one of two things. Yeah. Same but longer, yeah, maybe. Right, but right. yeah. yeah. But the yeah, top. there's actually another sexy haircut place that was in Austin called Sexy Scissors. Right. Which right. I got my haircut there like I, at I least went twice. To that one. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, there, yeah. Nick's a sexual man. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. Extremely. Yeah. Sexy yeah. haircut. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. So. I'm a big tedium fan. Nick's a sexual man. I'm a tedious man. Um, and the more boring, the better. Oh, and you gave us a video. <laughs> and I only had 43 seconds of it, but the whole thing is like 20 minutes long or so. Yeah. yeah. And 
I know I'm just going to let it speak for itself. Hours, yeah. But, but yeah. you watch this, and I, I should show this for, I have a corner called Joe's Tedium Corner. <laughs> I should have it on here, but I think it's too exciting. It might be. It's, yeah. it's better actually, than, so there's actually more tedious stuff than this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. You, you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Okay, the, yeah with, the, the, <laughs> with the bird wheel. The bird All right. Wheel. You be the judge. Tell me if this should, the, this would be a good fit on Joe's Tedium Corner, and then I'll pe- play like five minutes of it. But it is so, here it is. Stationary shot. Yeah, and it's, the audio is just the real audio of the... Oh, so it's pretty silent. It's pretty quiet. That kind of adds to the it tediousness. Does, yeah. Yeah. It's like you can barely hear look it. There's a lot of birds over there. There must be some fee down there somewhere. Yeah. Do they like it? I think they're enjoying it. I think they'd rather just eat regular. Yeah. But well, that wouldn't one. be as entertaining to humans watching. Yeah. But is it's that... crazy because if they could communicate with each other, they could be like... Hey, like, don't <laughs> land on here, because yeah, yeah. when you land on here, it, like, jacks us up. Like, just yeah. wait a minute. And I know, but then they're like, yeah, but I want to eat, too. So that's, right. that, oh, wow. I feel like I didn't show that, nearly enough That was that. really too short. I yeah. really feel like was I was just getting the... That was 45 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, mean, I, I don't think it's quite tedious. Well, enough, you gave really? us a... Yeah. D- I think we have the DVD over here. We can pop it in. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, we, the, how long is it? 40, we got, 40 we minutes? Have a lot to okay. Time okay. at the end, we'll Bonus get back to feature, birds on yeah. Reel. Steve, what did you think? Did you think that was uh, too exciting, or did you think that was tedious? Or? He's yawning. He's texting no, over no, there. No, not tedious enough. Not tedious <laughs> enough, <laughs> okay. really. Okay. You, you were actually, in, like, when a bird would swoop up. Do you want to show would... another one? Sure. Okay, why don't you get it to another one? I was asking Steve about Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. The tedium bird wheel. So you found it exciting when one bird would land on there, and then it would start to move down? Yes. Okay. No further questions. Okay, great. Right. Cleared that up. <laughs> Thanks for your contribution, Steve. <coughs> Cleared that um, right up. At home with English. That's another one. So we, we went over to your place after uh, after our show in Denver. I don't know, maybe ten years ago or so. I think Not, so. I think even longer. Yeah, than I think that. Maybe longer. Like Twelve, was it? thirteen yeah, years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember we we stayed up until the sun came up watching your VHS collection. Yeah, and it was it was much like this. I mean, I have stacks of tapes. Yeah. And like some of them are queued up to something great and some of them are just some tape, you know, it's like, oh wait, you got to look at this. And yes. I'm fast forwarding, <laughs> exactly. rewinding, finding you the You had spot. a box out and you were just like, you were yeah. just popping in new stuff. Yeah, that's like, and, that's my jam. It's and this like was one. Tape. It was really fun. Oh, it was so great. And this was one that uh, we had never seen before. Public access from Austin. Yeah. At home with English. And I had, when I, fr- when I <clears throat> first started going to Austin, I go down every year for the film fest and music fest and I just happened upon this and it was like, uh, it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to the music fest. I'm going to watch <laughs> this show. And then um, the next year, I think I brought blank tapes down so I could re- record it. And I was like, what What times is it on? Like, I got to be here to... And so, yeah, I really learned the, a lot. The of... clip that you gave us, I think, was 30 minutes long. Wow. So I'm yeah. just going to show... In- and it, it's, it's, it's a guy who's kind of, I mean, kind of famous amongst the cool kids in Austin. There's oh, yeah, like yeah. The guy, you know, it's, a, it's English as a second language. Yep. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, he's, so he's speaking slowly and trying to enunciate. But the stuff that, the w- things he uses to, t- to teach people English are bizarre. The yeah. <laughs> like bizarre. Yeah. It's so bizarre. So crazy. It, so and like, crazy. Uh, well, you'll see. Like, I, I picked two new ones that you might not have seen yeah, before. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this whole um, thing. Maybe yeah, at Andrew's house. Just the way that he, even they're directed, everything is just brilliant. A nice font. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's very uh, English. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be loud. So look how weird it is. <laughs> did you hurt yourself? Yes, I did. Look at the little boy. I banged stops. my knee on this table. It's right in the middle of the room. Tuning? That's a bad place yeah. for it. Oh, that what, I, Have you hurt yourself on it before? Yes. I hurt myself on it last month, uh, two weeks ago. You've hurt yourself a lot on it. You should move it to the side. Then you won't hurt yourself. Right. I'll do it. So the and cello is just a misdirect. Yeah. yeah, totally misdirection. Yeah. And his stumbling around, he's he's paying a lot of attention to the stumbling yeah. and not so much on like what he's saying. And he's like of, a, he's kind of like a Buster Keaton too. He kind of has like some like Charlie Chaplin ish. Yeah, he's like. very yeah, very sight gaggy. Listen. <laughs> Look at my new shorts. <laughs> They're nice. Thanks. But I think maybe I paid too much for them. How much did they cost? They cost $35. That's a lot. 
Have your shorts ever cost that much before? No, they haven't. <laughs> Do you think these shorts cost too much? No, I don't think so. You just said they did. They look good, so I think they're worth it. He's reconsidering. Yeah. <laughs> they're all weird stuff like that. Wow. Like and like he's got some khaki dockers. And and these ones, I mean, he's trying to sh he's trying to show like past right. tense or present well, like, or because that's you know. a tough one because you might just think they costed right, you know, like, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and hurt too hurt. like but right. these these examples at least it was like it's the same word yeah right it's, so the past tense is the same did word. hurt isn't the same yeah. yeah and it's also he's not really um, focusing on that word it's kind of this weird like do you think I paid too much yeah so it's like what's Paid? Yeah. He's, too, he's too invested in the scenario. Yeah, the scenario. We, is yeah. we met him. We met him when we went to Austin. We oh, called him up, yeah. and he was a little bit reluctant, but he invited us to his home. We were actually in that oh, so same. You were in that room. Yeah. We were in that room See, with the, the cello. Yeah. And uh, we, yeah, we asked him. I don't know. We asked him all the questions. We asked him if he still had the shirt. He still had the shirt. Yeah. He ran to the other room and he got the shirt. And I was like, that should be in the Smithsonian. <laughs> that should. shirt is That's so amazing. like because he wore that shirt Next for every Archie single Bunker's one of chair. them. Yeah, he kind of thought of it as like his Donald Duck uniform. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and people as a second language probably think his name is English. Right. Like, it's like <laughs> at, at home, home with, with English, English. and yeah. in his home well, or on his we, front step. Or, we asked him if if it worked. Like if people, if he said that he talked to some people who were learning English as a second lang second language, and that they said that they could only understand him. Right. That they can't understand anybody yeah. else, but they could understand him. They're so, all wearing so khaki like, shorts. <laughs> yeah. they, right. all, they all came in dressed exactly like oh, that. Oh man, that's amazing. There's I love so that guy. many, all of them are good too. I love One thing guy. I remember when we first walked into your house is like you had a lot of um, uh, like John Wayne Gacy paintings, I think. Yeah. And Chihuahua yeah. art. And you had, a, I think in your bathroom, you had Barbie doll wallpaper, kind of. It was just like. Yeah, a, I mean, there's I have like hundreds of Barbies. Yeah. Too, and like, oh, that's right. That's, walls full of dolls. But and, I, I also know that you take photos of things that you're barbecuing. Oh, yeah. And things yeah. that are on the barbecue grill, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do with those? What's. You, what's well, your, a lot of my photography is really. Uh, it's an extension of my collecting. Mm -hmm. It's like. Because something I can't collect is a grill full of food, right? right. Or like someone's crazy hairstyle or shoes. So like I photograph it. So yeah. it's really just keeping. Because like you really want to when you when the, when the grill is fully loaded with meat and yeah. it's like everything, you know, corn, whatever. That's just the perfect moment. Like that's the p potential energy. Wow. That's I mean, you can smell right. it just looking at it. Yeah. You can, and so yeah. I just was doing that for years, but. Many years later, as with a lot of my old photography, where I just do it for a long time, I had an art show called The Barbecue Show, and it was all of these photographs of grills, you know, from throughout the ages, full of meat. But then I also had, like, T-shirts, like a whole rack of T-shirts from barbecue restaurants that I've gone to. Oh, so it's And then I had, uh, it was like, I had um, a bunch of other barbecue stuff. I have, like, a little mini ashtray that's like a, um, a little grill ashtray oh, like a Weber to put out your yeah. Yeah. yeah and then um, I had the George Foreman play-doh grill so oh, you can actually really? like you, you make, make play-doh burgers, burgers and you put them on the wow the George Foreman and you actually close it and it makes sizzling sounds Oh, and wow. puts like grill uh, <laughs> patterns. So when you, you like open nice it, things. that's cool. Yeah. Like nice yeah. So oh. I really created this like obsession with like documenting. Yeah. Turned it into. An and art then show. do you print them out or how do you do, do you do it digitally now? Yeah. Like, digitally like, would be kind of boring as far as a collection goes. Yeah. I like, mean, I I for an art show like I'll print them out like I did because I was I've been taking food photographs for. 25 years yeah you know everyone takes pictures of their food now but right. I was doing it back like when I was like paying for film and yeah, stuff, yeah, you know? yeah but I did a, I did a, I've done several food shows but one was called um, sweet tooth a thousand desserts that I ate and it was a thousand five by seven photographs um, were all different desserts that I ate from all over the world oh, wow. yeah. so so my so my obsession of the documenting also actually like, became art also well, also, like the fact that you know how many desserts you've eaten, because if I had to guess a number, like, I, like over a thousand, well, those definitely. Are, those are a thousand you just chose to. Well, yeah, those are more than like that. I didn't it's probably I, like, like ten if, times that. Yeah, I and mean, those yeah. were like the interesting ones. Like, right. Yeah, I didn't take a picture of like, oh, I'm. It's like a bag late, of Oreos. Yeah, it's like la carrots. late night uh, bowl of yeah. ice cream or whatever. Yeah. These yeah. are like extravagant things from like other countries. Well, you know? let me go back to the barbecue thing because I remember in your house, in addition to the clowns and the Barbies, we did see one of your, gr I think, of several of your grill photographs blown up and uh and framed i think in your house maybe from that show but i didn't know if you had ever thought to combine it um with nudity 
Whoa. So this is a video called See, he's sexual. Nude See, Barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Nude Barbecue. Nude Barbecue. With his, Holy it's, You know how sexy barbecuing is. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, do they, the two Oh, that skin so hand. close to the I know. flame. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, I had Living to do a lot edge. of blurring in this, but let me just show you some of the uh, powerful eroticism of nude barbecue, and maybe this could make it into your next art show. Wow. I like the censorship on the back there. Yeah, oh, the, right. Um, the, yeah. Word out of much crack. That's the dirty part. But but in in its entirety, this is really is nudity. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's for like a specific fetish. Don't know. Yeah. Just a summertime. Uh... Wow, she's really eating she's that eating dog. That oh, I love barbecue. the music too. It's always by Bob Scott, who's the director of all these. Oh, he does like a John Carpenter? Yeah. Thing, where he's, uh... he's did Nude Law Enforcement, which you had your eye on. Oh, I, and I just picked a random one off the shelf, and it was Nude Law So he does the music for these yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. So he's a double threat. Oh, yeah, he's a double threat, and that's it. <laughs> that hot dog's longer than the bun, let's just yeah. say that. Yeah. <laughs> She's really enjoying it. Really enjoying I shouldn't it. even chew oh, it. Hot dog. She ripped it off. Yep. Oh, wow. This is my next one's my personal favorite of the uh, barbecue girls. Barbecue women, sorry. She's really chew enjoying that hot dog. Oh, wow. Some great lips and assholes. Yep. This one. It just takes a big bite of that hot dog. Oh my god. Oh. Getting a huge a bite of the hot dog. See, I'm a big biter. Like, I, I take huge bites of stu stuff because I want more flavor in my mouth. I get it. Yeah. There, I you haven't seen that much nudity, though, really. Well, because I, mean, I had to cut around well, it, so yeah, I included yeah. the close ups. But yeah, there's a lot. There's them eating uh, barbecued meats naked. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, you get, that's you get what you pay for. Yeah, I, there must be people that like like that, then, right? They're just I don't like. Know. Right. I guess. I mean, it, nude anything really yeah. is. Yeah. There's some I mean, kind that, of, that whole section right there is nude anything. Just I just nude, noticed yeah. it says absolutely sizzling. Get it? <laughs> oh, get it? So entendres are yeah. triple fold on these. So a new, uh, new wow. avenue to your Dang, barbecue. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Let me. Can I ask you another question about your collection of collection of collections? Is that what it is? Collection of collections. Collection of collections. Yeah. So, but how is it hoarding though? Like, could it be close to hoard? Like, but it <clears> seems to like you're organized. Like, you're an organized hoarder, I, or I is think, it? Are you, would you describe I, yourself as a hoarder? I, I don't think I would. I, I'm like right on the on the non-hoarding side of the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think hoarding, if if there's, well, I was going to say if there's dead animals in there, then it's hoarding. But I have, <laughs> do have some dead animals. But but I know about them. And they're like in a jar. Right? Yeah, okay. it's not like yeah. a cat just crawled under there and died. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, that's, or that's like if you've, if you've ever been hurt by your stuff falling on you, that could be hoarding. Oh, yeah. Right. If you, um, if you're, uh, broke or you know like you're not eating because you're buying stuff or you can't afford your you know the yeah, rent yeah. on your storage space mm -hmm. right, like, right. like i've never been foreclosed on my storage space you right, know? Like, right yeah okay so i think it's never caused anything totally detrimental so i yes. would say i would say it's not hoarding. so bad hoarding is if there are dead animals that you don't know about yeah. Good hoarding is if there are dead animals that you do exactly. know. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect description. Thank you for yeah. saying that because as people who have thirteen thousand VHS tapes in here, it's good to have exactly. somebody who's saying well, we not just hoarding. To know. I, I think yeah. I gave you guys girls and guns. Did, did yes, that, we have yeah. girls and guns yeah. as well. Yeah. Are they over there? So oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not nude. Well, there is yeah. nudity in it. I think it, you gave it to us on DVD. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's, that's a great that, one. That's a pretty. And fun that was in Jackie Brown too, the movie, the Quentin Tarantino movie. Oh, was that with the machine guns? Yeah. 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 It's a great. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So next up, speaking of um, speaking of sexiness, you gave us a pole dancing exercise video, oh, yeah. and I remember being really excited about this one. And it's actually like very well done, and it's very like seriously done. It's Canadian. It's, like, it's yes, it's Canadian yeah. too. Oh yeah, because we see her credits. But the the um, oh, what was I going to say about it? Uh, oh, it's homemade, and usually homemade videos are pretty funny. This one is an example of a very well done homemade video. Yeah. It's still a little bit weird because like they're in this room where it looks like they're in a store or something. The background is a little bit weird. It's unclear where, the, where she yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. But like generally, she's pretty good. And like as far as homemade videos goes, it's pretty good. So here's, um, what's, it, what's, it, what's it actually called? Pole Dancing Secrets, I think. Yeah, do you remember this no, one? No, oh, yeah, this one. I think I have volume one and two. Oh, There's wow. There's like pole dancing, whatever, volume two. Oh, yeah, Art, yeah, of, Art of Exotic, exotic oh, yeah. Dancing, volume one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Fania. Oh, Fania. Forgot about, I forgot about that part. Yeah. And here's her resume. Accolades that's across the board. That's a hell of a resume. Yeah, yeah, it's Miss Nude Canada. We're on the Naked News, and that's also from Canada. Oh, so yeah. They must See? have a thing. They like nudity. Miss Nude Canada's Rookie of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Three years in a row. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> My name is Fania, and throughout this video, Athena and I will be showing you several different photos that you can either use on their own, hey. or maybe develop into something unique to you. And Sorry. <laughs> and just so you know, I was able to get the rights to use music from some of the famous people out there, so if you have anything you want to listen to while I instruct you, then go ahead and grab it, plug it in your stereo. And if you wanted to play some of the famous music, <laughs> did you? Yeah. Okay. RSA man. <laughs> play some of our... <laughs> That's weird that she just didn't find some not famous. Yeah, just music. find some royalty free. It's impressive. That's how wait, I wait, do it. Wait, usually. wait, wait. The, the, this is the only good line in the whole thing. Okay, okay, so, sorry. We, and uh, Nick decided to talk right up. Yeah, yeah, listen. Same way, walking around the pole and using your left leg. It's the only momentum. good line in the whole thing. Then, hooking your left ankle onto the pole. Bring your right leg up like you're a dog in a tree. Take it and push it up. <laughs> like, that's a good way to describe a sexy hand. <laughs> like, like you're a dog, dog in a tree. tree. My left hand is at the bottom, uh, my fingers towards the ground. What if we put the audio from this on the bird wheel thing? Like, put your leg on the pole yeah. and then wrap it around and then it starts spinning. Yeah. Like, it would be very confusing. And then add some music from a popular artist. Of right. your choice. You, you gotta yeah. hear, you gotta hear Fonny's closing statement. Oh, it's more than a good line, huh? So that's it for this video. Hope you learned a few things and have a lot of fun at the same time. If you'd like to contact me, you can do so by phone, email, or just write me a letter. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks, creeps. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call. Yeah. Dang, I can't believe you can call How come her? I never I called her? She wrote and directed that. Wow. Ah. I mean, she did. We like should the, hire her to make a to but, make a bird. Um, yeah, video, oh, a bird wheel. Yeah, yeah bird a wheel. tedium wheel. Have her this narrate. This tedium wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Have her narrate the tedium oh, wheel. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Combine the, all the Andrews to, things. How many more videos do you have to show? Because I might have to go get something for mine. Um, I have one more. Okay, let me show this, and I'll go get it while I'm playing this. So this is a video. It's an instructional video that might get us uh, some adult content warnings on on YouTube. We'll find out after Ooh. this airs. But this is a, a for a device called the Venus 2. Oh, man. Do you know the where Venus, you found this? The Venus 2. We, you know what this came with. You, you gave this to us with the Sibian. Right. Yeah, the that's Sibian right. The is Sibian. The, yeah. I think I got this. There's a store in Denver called Black and Red. Yeah. And it's like books and records. It's like still around? Underground stuff. Still around. Still around selling records. And actually, they have the largest collection of video discs, like laser discs. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if anyone's That's great that like, it still exists. Those places are just yeah, dying right now. very well, hard this, to find. This is an instructional video for a male pleasure device. I've blurred things out, but I think you'll still probably see your, too much. Your handiwork is yeah. the... So, uh, and I don't think you've ever seen the uh, this just cut. it? Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, I've seen this whole Venus, too, oh, okay. like, several times. Okay. Goddess yeah, yeah. of self oh, My name is Gary Griffin. I'm a medical researcher and uh, an author. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it, an author. Sexuality. You may have heard of some of them. One is called Penis Enlargement Methods, Fact and Fallacy. We have the Condom Encyclopedia. And one of the popular ones is called the Vacuum Pumper's Handbook. We're going to talk a little bit about this exercise. Let's talk today. about that we one. We have a new product here I want to tell you about that I'm very excited about. Now, I heard about this just a couple of months ago from a gentleman in Illinois. This uh, product first came out, and I heard about it from one of my readers who says, Gary, you've got to check this out. So immediately I got on the phone and I called the manufacturer and learned about this device. Now this device is called the Venus 2 and the reason it was invented is because it is filling a need in the market. Let's open the machine now and show you a little bit about the Venus 2. Now you can oh, see this comes God. in a very compact case. It's got right. a carrying handle so you can carry this through airports, you can carry it on a car. No, you can't. You can uh, try. <laughs> now we're going to give a live Oh my God, there he is. See the host the news. Too. You'll notice that I have this rope here because this Did is how you we notice demonstrate. That he just oh boy, does uh, that feel good. Venus 2 oh may be God. used when your penis is soft. Or yeah, I don't know if you blurred that out. Well, <laughs> well I did my best. Oh, no. I can try a little harder to get it done better. Testicle shaking. Just in just enough. Getting flagged on this one. There's the clean oh, and then that's yep. I like this. In a hotel. Pilot. Yeah, it's a pilot and a waterbed. It's kind of putting it away for the day, going to fly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Advantages, no risk of disease, no partner needed. 
adjustable stroke length. Yep, that's a great, huge feature. I love this, like, I love this riff, too. Oh, <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> so it's a Keep $60. Going. Keep going. Yeah, 45 day trial. And give then how fence. much is it? And then, then who do you give it back to? Like, yeah, uh, I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Got my sixty dollars worth. I'm gonna give it back. Uh, so I think we told you this, but we we went and met the guy. Ah, yeah, Did that's I right. Yeah, this? I remember. Yeah. I think because you talked about it at one of the at one shows, of our shows. Yeah, yeah, we talked. We about played it, it in yeah. New York, and then somebody said, "Hey, I went to high school with the son of the guy who invented the Venus too." <laughs> And, uh, right? And then yeah. he's like, yeah, he lives on Zion, Illinois, and he... He's uh, a rich mogul now. Yeah, from yeah, all yeah, Successful yeah. business uh, <laughs> he's endeavors. Got a, it's, it's the house that Venus 2's built. And, and uh, so we... Uh, we had I, a college show in Chicago not yeah. long after that. Uh, so yeah. then we, we got his number and we called him up. And he was a little reluctant, but he was like, yeah, you, sure, you can come by. And like, yeah. And, and he answered the door with the wearing the Venus 2. Always. Logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. the door... Underpants, and he, he lived, he and his wife lived in a very nice motor home, but it was parked inside of his inventions warehouse. So it was basically uh. a... A oh. warehouse that he rented it to looked, park his store, to his RV. It looked very methy. You know? oh, yeah. it, it looked very like Breaking Bad. Like there was an RV inside, yeah. of, inside a of a warehouse. Yeah. Like, hey. No, I know, I know. But like when we pull up, it looks pretty scary. Yeah, but it was yeah. nice in there. And he and his wife and, lived. And also, right across the street was a Renaissance festival like happening. Yeah, there's at a the same permanent time. Renaissance. So this is like fair. all this weirdness <laughs> happening at once. We're going and to also, the he together. had polydactyl cats inside of the uh, RV. Wow. Yeah, a bunch of them. He's like so Ernest Hemingway. We went to meet him and we, we shot this thing with him, which I we may have showed you, but we'll just show people at home here. So, so let's start at the beginning. How did you come up with this idea? Uh, I've always had a real high sex drive, and and maybe uh, you know might even be considered hypersexual in that sense. And um, so a lot of experimentation. As part of the marketing for the device, you obviously put out a video. Tell us a little bit about the video. I did that in our house, and uh, we realized that it was uh, probably going to be one of the top ten worst videos ever done. We knew that. And there's one part in the video where there's actually a dog barking in the background. What What's that about? That would probably have been Spuds. <laughs> Who's Spuds? Spuds uh, was a five-year-old Karen Terrier. Um, Yours? Yeah, oh yeah, really, really interesting personality. Wow, well, this has been a real thrill. Uh, we want to thank Rick Gellert, for, uh, the inventor of the Venus 2, for spending some time with us. Thanks so much, Rick. My pleasure. Thanks a lot, Rick. Really appreciate it. So, nice guy. He, and at the end of it, <laughs> at the end of it, he said, um, he, he, we said, can we buy a Venus 2? Because we wanted to show it to people. And he said, yeah, but they go for $1,400. And we, that's more than we make in a <laughs> year. Like, no way. And uh, <laughs> so, but he turns out he had a, he had dozens of these things just sitting around. They weren't flying off the shelves. It shelf. was like on, on pallets. Like he had them in the warehouse on pallets. He was also an inventor of other things, too. He invented um, uh, birthday candles that you lit one and it had an ignition fuse and it, it was like a firecracker but you would light a birthday candle it would light all the birthday candles not only did he invent that he invented the packaging for it and he had it in that warehouse like he had all this well, stuff yeah, in there yeah he, he invented I actually bought so one of those from china like did last oh, year really? yeah, yeah like it's well it's like a flower oh yeah you light it and it's like it lights all it pops open and all the candles are lit and it's it yeah. plays a song for days that's what this guy days. does. Man, yes. he, I think he got ripped off. Well, but yeah. he, he was telling us that he's not good at promoting these things. Uh -huh. you know? That's like, why he's got a pallet full of. Well, Venus well, too. All well, all there all might be other reasons why he has to. All right, has these. we could talk yeah. candles for days, but here's, oh, man. here's the this important is, thing. This is it. This is this the is Venus the... too. This is a very heavy briefcase. Yeah, I don't know how. I we think let's just stay on the wide shot. The wide shot is the best one for it. So do you want to open it? Oh, this damn. Is did you it's take this through an airport? How did that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This uh, is and they, they popped this out. It's been like, on tour with us for like three was, years. And was look that at your this. duct tape on yes. there? Yes, because okay. it was falling out. Oh, yeah, yeah. This Here's thing. the business end of the uh, Venus 2. Here. And then look at it. There's like a there's like a novel here of like the instructions. And yeah, most like, of don't them are, die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And most of them are about, yeah, what what how to clean it. Like half of it. clip. Yeah, yeah, and there's the chip clip. And so, like, I tried it out. I, I had to give it a, sh I had to give it a kick the tires. Would you? Oh, Would you? Uh, I mean, it's, I, it's a in little In general, I don't want to put anything on my genitals that plugs in to yeah. the wall. Well, that's like, that, that was the, yeah, and, and, and this is the cord too. It, it's not, it's not like one of those little chintzy. This is a heavy duty. And there's uh, no like fuse or breaker. No, it, and it's not quiet either. Like when you when you turn it on, like it's like 
it sounds like a lawnmower. Like it's really uh, loud. It's yeah, intimidating. Sets the mood. And uh, <laughs> no, but I remember like I think we asked him a question like, how is this any different than like a flashlight or you know like one of those other. Well, I was like, like right. what's wrong with your hand? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Is that is and that he, is that such a problem that you need to invent like fourteen? But, but he was your hand like, doesn't. Well, your hand does a speed control. But he was right, like, yeah. if you can get up to whatever it is, two hundred and fifty strokes per se- strokes per minute, like Go if ahead. you can get up that. Get, I, I and challenge continual you. for I many you. minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, well, oh, yeah, damn. I guess that's it. We yeah. measure it in but strokes per minute. I did. I did try it. It got the job done, and uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. Was was it worth uh, the, the fourteen hundred dollars? Uh, yeah, it, it worked, but like it was, yeah, it wasn't. I, I did it once, one and done. One uh, and it would not have been worth the fourteen hundred dollars yeah, for okay. me. Okay. I don't. I don't need two hundred fifty strokes per minute. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Well, that's incredible that you guys. Uh, yeah, we own don't have that to tour thing. with it, which is great. Yeah. It just kind of stays. One in thing the that we didn't ask him is like, what happened to the Venus One? Right. You what know, happened? Why, to what failures? Why yeah. the sequel? Did what awful failures fire? happened? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, so so if, if you want to try it after afterwards, you can. We can use some of Marty's lube that he uses for his. To get his penis back in. <laughs> yeah, when the hot dog was sticking out of the bun, it reminded me a lot of, do- of Marty the dog, actually. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that, was yeah. A, that was a Marty moment. A lot of it's a very sexual show, isn't it? It really has taken a turn now. Yeah. yeah. So we, also, first we started talking about clowns, and then now it's like I know. All, it's now all it's, business. Now it's with a little the, off the top nudity. all the time. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the last one we want to play. So this was, this was like right as the sun was coming up over at your place. And... Um, you have a dog too. What was the dog's name? Yeah, Tiny, Tiny Coconut. Coconut. Yeah. Oh, I remember Coconut. Tiny Coconut. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peace. yeah just this past, like last oh. November. But, yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah. But yeah. 18 years. He had 18 really? good years. Oh, so. great life. Yeah. And, yeah. and also the best dog name of all time, Tiny Coconut. Yeah. That's such a great name. And your other chihuahua was Chicken Bone Leg, right? Is that well, the, well, the hashtag is Chicken Bone Leg, but oh. the, the dog's name is Chicken Bone. Just Chicken just Bone. Okay, But Chicken Bone, you know, hashtag Chicken Bone, because I was posting pictures. Oh. Don't even look. It's just like, People with the greasy chicken bones, oh, okay. like so a don't KFC. Search that so chicken bone leg, I figure there are a few other people using it for <laughs> nefarious purposes, right. but most of them are my dogs. So. We should show you. We have a movie called Nacho Chihuahua. That's all. Oh, it's, wow. it's a homemade movie oh, about. Oh, you got it right here. Oh, wow. you got it handy. Oh, look at that. It was yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. Nacho Chihuahua. Nacho the Chihuahua. Movie. It looks. We know, oh guy, my God. we know a guy who collects them. He owns like all 43 of them. He collects Nacho Chihuahuas. Wow, that's this looks like chicken. I mean, no, like um, like tiny coconut. Really. Yeah, 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 a little white chihuahua. A white yeah. chihuahua, yeah. If you I haven't think... seen it, it's on our Patreon. We wow. watched the whole movie. Oh wow, yep. okay. And you can buy it on our on our. Uh, but we'll, we'll, you can have that copy. I think we got a couple copies. Do you want? We have one. Nacho. Let's give it to him. Okay, there you yeah. go. Oh, Nacho man, chihuahua. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Um, that's awesome. I think the movie will speak to you. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, all right. So the sun was coming up. We're sitting. You had like a weird like. Uh, uh, sandbag bean thing, bag. beanbag, yeah. a beanbag chair. Yeah, the puff so, pillow. Yeah, a huge one. Yeah. Yeah. And we were eating ice cream and drinking coffee too. I think <laughs> Espresso or yeah, something. And like, yeah. And like the sun was coming up and then you were like, have you guys seen Rem Lazar before? And we're like, no. Like, oh, fuck. We got to toss <laughs> Rem Lazar. And so you toss Rem Lazar. <laughs> so we toss Rem Lazar. And it's, it's weird because like when, when I was watching it, I remember thinking like, this must be religious, you know. It seems like kind of a Christian film or something. Yeah, like Christians creepy made a lot of movies. Superhero like mm-hmm. guy, yeah, exactly. but yeah. it's not. It's not Christian at all. Then my second thought was, it's got to be. It felt Canadian to me, you right. know, because like yeah. something was like a little bit different than what I was used to. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like something. It's American, bit, but off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was American, but off. Um, it wasn't Canadian either. It's just some guy. He just. It was shot in New York too. Yeah. 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 Some guy, so. Independent children's film. Called Rem Lazar. Very ambitious. Do you know what? Why was he called Rem Lazar? Do you know, well, let's watch the clip. That's and let's why talk, let's talk about okay. Rem Lazar. There's a lot to unpack. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I put together some of my favorite scenes. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Steve, how are we doing on time? Lifeless Man- mannequin, mannequin parts. Mannequin parts and wigs. Let's reanimate a corpse. Spray painting the a mop. Yeah. Does it feel kind of either Christian or Canadian? Just like the friendship you have with our 
I think I was kind of nodding off here. Yeah. And I was like, huh? Yeah, musical. And then all of a sudden, like, Yeah, boom. then I woke up. And it's the next morning somehow. That's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wake up. That was my edit though. That was okay. 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 That was but still, edit. yeah, yeah. They're in the clubhouse in the overnight. They overnight. overnight. Yeah. Man, they created. Sleep over with Ram Lazar. And I can see. Why? You needed me. How? You believed in me. Here comes a song. <laughs> the music cue is so weird. <laughs> but his voice changes so dramatically from his. <laughs> he sings a song about himself. Does he originally come to the kid in a dream at the beginning? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Because hey, somehow he knew. It was homework. I think. Oh, okay. During That's right. He was, he was. Yeah, he was yeah. daydreaming. You see a classroom at the beginning. All right. Now here's a really weird scene. That I didn't remember the scene. Have to be a large mountain in the wilderness. So he's saying. No, it would have to be the tall buildings in New York City. Mountains are much higher than buildings. There's an argument about No this way! Do you believe in me, both of you? Together? What? And that's why I'm here. Because you both work together. But Ren, how are we going to agree? I really think the buildings are high. Probably 4.30 Zach really believes me. Wait, listen. This is what their conflict is here. Their conflict is that they don't agree. And that's why I'm here. Which is higher. Because you both work together. How are we going to agree? I really think that buildings are higher, and Zach really believes mountains are. Differences of opinion are fine, and it's important we'll to stand behind what you believe this. in. But you can still work together. Giving oh, in a little symbol. doesn't mean giving up. Well, I believe buildings might be higher. That's weird. And I guess it's possible that some mountains yeah, are soft. even higher than the tallest buildings. Why don't we compromise and search in both places? Where should we start? Ladies first. Thank you, Zach. Don't mention it. They just decided not to be live action yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They forgot to film. Imagine, it. and we will journey through your hearts to a far and distant land. <laughs> and another song. Yeah, here. another song. Wow. The weirdest song, song cue. It always seemed too hard to talk. I did, did I tell Creating you guys out where, how I, where I found no, them? The, no. the, the origin? Did you oh, see the boxes origin? of them? Well, no. So I was, I was in Las Vegas at a thrift store. Because like so thrift stores in, in Vegas. Thrift stores in La Las Vegas are awesome. Oh, I bet. So I saw a stack of these tapes. I was like, you know, and that's what caught my eye, right? Because at a thrift store, it's, it's hard to find good stuff. You could really. But this was a stack of all the same tape, which you don't really see. And so I, I was like, this looks really amazing and weird. So I bought it. And then. Of course, I got home and watched it. And I'm like kicking myself for not getting the whole stack, but little uh, did I know what gold oh. it was going to be. And that guy, too, ja I think is Jack Mulcahy. Is that right? Uh, Somebody he's, told he's, us that he's like a working actor. Yeah, he's like an actor, and he's been in like um the I think West Side Story on oh really so on he's stage. A, he's like, a legit yeah, actor. Yeah, he's then. like yeah, he's a semi legit actor. <laughs> yeah, even though he has blue hair, he's made it work somehow yeah. on well, Broadway. Somebody, I think this, somebody had some money and they're like, let's just make this movie. Like, let's make this kids movie. I wrote it. I'm really proud of it. And I have a shitload of money. And let's get like this. But not quite enough money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shitload, shitload, but, but not not, not to two make. shitloads. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. So goddamn Rumbles. And then I was also wondering about his name too. I can't remember. We watched the whole movie, but like it's spotty. <sighs> I like, don't remember where I th that. What I did on my computer is I spelled his name backwards. Just because it doesn't sound like a name that would be backwards. Yeah, Rumbles or some are. anagram. Or something. It's not that. Uh, yeah, maybe it's an anagram of something. Yeah. yeah. Well, George or the Melindas, uh, that's what we call our people who watch every week. So maybe they will have some ideas. Yeah. What, what, what the fuck's up with Rumbles? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it called Rumbles? Investigate this. It's doctors. Yeah. Doctors, yeah. babies are dying. We gotta know. Where's it's toxic poison. It's poison. Well, I, I, so I brought a present for you guys. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a. Uh, okay, it says, "Do not place near a magnetic field. This contains a videotape. This is oh. similar to the mysterious this package." Is, see, that, this is how yeah. you send videos. Yeah. This is the. Vi this is like yeah. how we got it in the mail. When I found these stickers recently too, and I, oh, I got a, a stack of them. Oh, those, so. should we open it now? Put or those on okay. yeah. 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 Does it have a little tab? Doesn't have a tab actually. Here's this. Just, ooh, wow. Did you get your own? I did. He's got a knife. Yeah, I ooh, got look my at own you. knife right yeah. here on camera. He's I'm a grown up. Wow. Nice. I was gonna get you that for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> too you late. Got, you got a boring one. It's just the, white. It's the gift of the Magi. Wow. Oh, oh man, that, that one. That was really smooth. That. No, it's not no. like that. But yeah. 
It'd be like if I if I got rid of all my box if I sold all my boxes I needed to open to buy you a, a box cutter and then you bought me a cutter. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. All right. What do we got? <coughs> oh, Ooh. rock keyboard step one. With Still David in the Garfield. shrink. Still yeah, in the shrink. How legit. about that? Have you guys seen that before? No, I, we do yeah. not did have you, that one. Did you doctor the the thing on the back at all? No, no. There is a hole. There's a couple holes in the okay. shrink, but There's it wasn't because right I, over I his head. like glued <laughs> something on it or yeah. anything. It's, it's in its. You it's see, you see how there's a hole right over his head, so it looks, is, a little, it looks like it's like Photoshop. It's that does look weird. <laughs> um, well, we've been uh, watching a lot of musical instructional and vocal instructional videos, oh, so this good. will fit right in. And we that. do have some videos from this series too. Oh, so yeah. wow! So you could build the it's whole band right. eventually. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you got play them enough. simultaneously. Yes, that's a great play them idea. all at the same time, and then we'll, we have you'll like, have an orchestra. Yeah, what if we have like five video, five tape, five uh, screens with five playing VHS, them simultaneously. playing a keyboard, oh, playing a amazing. drum. Yeah, it'll be like the Flaming Lips Zyrica or whatever. Yeah. You play all four yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, well, thanks for coming thanks, on the show, man. It's so great yeah. to meet you guys and see all the tapes in, yeah. in person. Hold this on, no, let's not say goodbye yet. Did we, did we, Hold on, we didn't, uh, okay. We so we really talked talk about your, oh, like Jean Monet's Tricycle. Oh, That's yeah. Yes, yeah. we yeah. wanted to mention yeah. this. Your, your documentary VHS, film. slightly VHS related. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, it has to do with your collection, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, Andrew made a, a documentary film. Yeah, as, as a crazy collector, I've come across very crazy things throughout the years, including Jean Bonnet Ramsey's actual tricycle. Because she's because the family's from from Boulder, Boulder, and I lived in Boulder in the '90s, and right. so I was very familiar with that case. And it was so bizarre, and just I was kind of stalking the the media and the cops and the the you know the crime scene and stuff. Stalking it, how? Like just kinda... well, just I, w I would like go by like like almost daily because you know Geraldo's there and all yeah, this like yeah, famous, yeah it's a big deal you know, in town big deal and the, all these cops and like the satellite vans and stuff. So and it was just it was such a crazy time. And so shortly after that, I ended up with the tricycle and some of the candy canes from the front walk. And of course, didn't talk about it for years because it's like... How did you get them? They, mm, I've been Just, advised not to, not to say exactly oh, really? how, <laughs> I, how I came across <laughs> this. Uh -huh. Even but, better. That's but, a perfect answer. But for, for, for 20 years, you know, I didn't really talk about it a lot because they, they never solved this. I was like, man, as soon as they solve this crime... I can, you know, I have these You'll great have this, artifacts, uh, Yeah, this right? rare object. And they never solved it. So they still haven't solved it, right? They still haven't solved it. So when the 20th anniversary was coming up, I was like, okay, you know, cops, you had your chance. You're gonna. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, a lot of media was starting to come up, and so I, so I made this movie. And my idea was to take these items to psychics and see, you know, maybe a psychic can solve the crime by putting the hands on the actual thing that was related to the, you know. John Bonet's tricycle. And so I took it to five psychics and some paranormal investigators, and that was, it was gold. It was amazing. Whoa. I mean, it was like, I can't say the psychics solved it or not. Uh -huh. Are like, you a believer in the, in the psychic I'm world? A, I would call myself a very heavy skeptic. Yeah, but you're a scientist, that, right? I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I wanna, I'm, I'm a metrologist. I want to measure the validity of something, <laughs> yes. right? And so, so but, I, but I was very impressed, and I could not believe. I mean, I was, I'm trying not to react, though, because uh, you know, a psychic might They'd pick up on from clues, your reaction. Yeah. I didn't tell them what the objects were. Mm -hmm. I just said, like, you know, we're doing a documentary about, like, we're trying to learn what we can yeah, about yeah. these found objects. And some of the stuff they said was, like, pretty incredible. And mm. I'm like, whoa, this is cool. And some of the stuff they said was ludicrous and stupid. Yeah. So, like, it, it runs the gamut. But we give them credit where credit is due. And right. You know, the, in, in the editing, we could make it look however we want, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's reality. But TV, it's an honest right? edit. That's what we do. Honest right? edit. We, we brought out when they agreed, even if we think it was wrong or what they didn't agree or what things they thought that, that we thought were right. But then really the, the movie goes much further with, like we set it places where we're filming it and people would like get on it and write it. And then we would tell them what it was, you know, and then that, the, that, those kinds of reactions. And then also we really kind of used it as a, as a kind of a vehicle to talk about our, our culture's obsession with unsolved crimes. You know, mm -hmm. there's podcast upon podcast of murders and crimes and For stuff. Sure. And so we really, it's as much as it's pointing it at me, but like people who are obsessed with the crimes in the pop culture. So it's pop culture and tragedy. Yeah. And like, you know, are we using pop culture to, to deal with 
tragedy, you know? Cause yeah. Because really, absolutely. I mean, it's some, it's a, a kid died in this, right? It's like, you, you, you don't want to lose about sight of that thing. with, yeah, yeah. You know, and Geraldo, like, forgot about that, like, day two, right? It's just, <laughs> it's all about, it's, ah, like, yeah. the, the hard-hitting journalism or yeah. whatever. How can so, people see the documentary? So, um, I just, I sell it on, on the website. I sell Blu-rays, and because a lot of people don't have Blu-ray players, I sell it on a USB stick. Oh, nice. But there's a lot of bonus material on it, including... Um, the the entire hundred page book from that collections art show. Oh you yeah, can, yeah. Can scroll through it with the remote and see. Is it on the DVD that you the, gave us? Yeah. The Blu-ray that you yeah, gave us. Yeah. Oh sweet. And then there's. Um, so some of your collections are on that as a yeah, bonus feature. Yeah. Sweet. And the the cool thing is I had all these tapes because I was recording the news during the all the John Bonet like the, the the first six months of the you know news was always about it even if there was no news it was like. You know, top story tonight. No new news on the Ramsey case. Like, <laughs> right? Are you kidding me? Yeah. So I no had, news was the news. Yeah. Wow. And so, but I had all these tapes still because luckily, you know, I was yeah, recording yeah. it. And so I use a lot of VHS footage in the movie. We're but on also, board. There's a there's some some of the bonus features is me talking to telephone solicitors. You can listen to these phone calls. Oh, it's all come full. That's on the. If on you the, can yeah. somehow include the apology note from the fantastic Sam's haircut. <laughs> I have in a that. photograph. Okay, of it, so uh, they, maybe uh, that is a bonus bonus feature that, for. Send, I'll send that uh, to and you what's guys. the website for that? Uh, John Benet's tricycle. Okay, great, cool. Yeah. And thanks for coming out. We're going to be in Denver and Boulder, so we'll see you. Out I'll shake hands for real Super this time. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yes. Thanks yes. Thanks for coming on the yes. show. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. That's hey, Andrew. That's Andrew, oh, who oh. apparently stole. <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> I sort of leaned and then I fell. Uh, uh, top, top, top weirdo. Oh yeah, one of the first ones we met. Huge video collector and a scientist too. Steals John Benet Ramsey's tricycle. I don't know if he stole it. Did he? Well, that's the implication. I mean, it was sitting outside somewhere. <laughs> Reporters were there. I don't know. He, he won't say. But that's just my <laughs> presumption. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing, though. We want to add to his collection of cereal dust. Um, he talked about how he has these jars of sediment. I don't think he has any Batman no. cereal dust. No, but, probably not. I mean, we still got a long ways to go, but at the rate that you're going at with your apologies... Yeah, we'll be done uh, then, by uh, January. Yeah, you're, with your, the, the amount of apologies that you've done, yeah. um, this thing is going to be nothing. Yeah, you, so, you say Walter Brennan a few more times. Uh, this thing will just be down to the call bottom. call Bob Hedges a regular patron and uh, a big patron, too. He gives us a lot of money each uh -huh. month. And he also sends us tons of videos, yeah. too. And you call him Bob Klein, yeah. a guy we haven't seen in 15 years. Well, the point is, uh, as long as this cereal uh, gets continue to be eaten, we'll have dust at the bottom that'll be really rancid. He can put it into a jar, and then we'll have contributed to Andrew's project. It can be, a, it can be a apology dust. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he'll have a collection uh, of Andrew that. Andrew gave us this afterwards. He forgot to give it to us on the air, but uh, the corn unauthorized biography. Yeah. Um, and I watched a little bit of it today, and uh, it's pretty good. Because really? they can't use any corn music. It's unauthorized. They can't use co any corn videos. <laughs> <laughs> they use the same photos over yeah. and over. And then there's one guy. I can play it. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I'll play uh, a little bit. We um, don't have to worry about corn uh, taking the down no. for uh, no, there's YouTube no music. algorithm. So. Yeah. Um, this guy, so this guy's the host, and he's just kind of talking about how cool corn is. Okay. Like, that's what these unauthorized things are, just like somebody who right. like, shares your enthusiasm. When they come to the, um... And oh. a lot of, uh, on-the-street interviews. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 outside of corn shows and stuff, yeah. And then, like, Getty images that they do. Here we go. Reggie Arvizu, his nickname is Filthy. Brian Welch's head, because in his own words, his head is so fucking big that no hat fits him. And James Schaefer is monkey. He fucked up his finger in a bike accident, and his doctor told him to try a musical instrument to give his finger some strength. David Silvera doesn't Ooh. have a nickname. He was so young when they found him through a classified ad that they all cracked up when they heard his voice on the answering machine. He was only 13 years old, but he could definitely pound those skins. Jonathan may be a cool one to fucking now, corn but fan, at how school, he was picked on by all the other kids. As the story goes, he got his HIV tattoo to discourage morons from kicking the shit out of him. He said that the tattoo has probably <laughs> saved my Wait, life. what? You know, in situations when passion and lust take right. over your Are brain, gonna, I take a look at that tattoo. Oh, okay. And I think to myself, the virus is still out there. You never know who's got it. So now he's quoting him from that article. And they're all bunch of insane fucking dudes. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, thanks Andrew for that. They're all bunch of insane fucking yeah. dudes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, we may have more Andrew videos to show in the future because he gave us a few other things. So uh, we'll oh, keep you posted. You know posted. what? Maybe I'll do a tedium corner one of these days with the with the 
bird wheel. Yeah. You know, and yeah. do like a full solid three minutes. And we got a, a rock video babes uh, video from him too. Oh yeah. So, watching yeah. That's so good. Plenty more to come from Andrew. Maybe he'll be back. Um, uh, all right. Let's end with some Rem Lazar. Let's do it. Yeah, too. All yeah. right. This is a toe tapper. This is uh, Rem Lazar. Uh, the, 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 I think it's the theme song. I think it's the yeah. main main theme the song, from Rem yeah. Lazar. Right. Okay. Um, and we'll go out on that. So uh, we'll be right back right after that. So that's all. That's it. Bye, everybody. Oh, here's Bye. Ram. If we if we did better, we could have. If we tried harder, we could have done, done better. better. <laughs> From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. From another place, not from outer space. From some place even higher. Ram Lazar. more than a fantasy I can run, I can jump, I can dance and sing Believe in yourself and do anything Believe in yourself and do anything From within your mind no one else can find The life that you inspire From another place, not from outer space But from someplace even higher Ram Lazar in my mind begin to turn but I'll never forget what you've given to me the power to touch feel it hear and see when we return Dr. Selner will complete the bunion surgery yes those are his pajamas he's wearing all right I gotta go that's all that's it let me see that one we'll be right back right after that <laughs>